person that can't have fun. Over here in the bottom left. <laughs> it must be terrible to not be able to have fun. No, man, if you're like not a funny person, you're like, I just wish they wouldn't be funny when they talk about the game because I frown all the time. I look like Beaker. Maka Prime Wee. Maka Prime Wee. He certainly smiles a lot, Tasteless. He is. Mark he knows is a that fun, fun guy. And over here in the yellow, we have our other prime player down one game. Porto Prime Wee. If I was on, if I was on Prime, it'd be Pult Prime. It's all about me. Oh wow! Why did we just say stupid stuff that rhymes? It rhymes, like, it's like man. Actually, the thing is, there's just like no pun. It's just like I stake something kind of related to make it rhyme, and I'm like, yeah, I think this. I'm all about that, man. I think that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> you think I, it's hilarious? I, don't care. I think that is just I think marvelous. it's just a riot. <laughs> well, tasteless. Both players uh, making barracks. Mac is sending out a scout already. I wonder if Polt will once again scout very late. I think he will. Well, I don't think he expects his opponent to do the same thing again, and I would be surprised if Maka did. I mean, actually, we know he's not going to because yeah, he would have already uh, he got his that refinery. Out. Yeah. You know, I'd love to see one of these Reaper openings that have begun, you know, a little bit more. Uh, more famous. We've seen a few of them where, you know, remember Nada, that game where he opened double Reaper, went up, killed I a bunch of Marines. That. that was so cool. That was the I bee's think the Reaper is the coolest. It was the bee's knees. And now we have the bee's knees. He can't walk upstairs anymore. What? Because we have his knees, man. <laughs> you need oh. knees to walk upstairs, dude. That's right. He has wings, man. He just flies up there. He's like, up. like, give me my knees back. No, man. He's in a no flying room. People don't want to hear his little buzz, buzz, buzz. That poor guy. What's Quiet, man. We're in a movie theater. Walk like up crawl. stairs. Would oh. it be cool to have a pet attack Bumblebee? Oh, like sick. Fly around the room and land on your finger? Now, Bumblebees are the ones that can sting more than once, right? It's like hornets die if they uh, sting. No, I think Bumblebees die if they sting Oh, they, they do. You. I think it's actually, well, that's actually really sad, it's then. hornets that are the opposite. It's like your pet attack Bumblebee. You like you become such great friends with them, then someone makes you angry. Like, attack! And like, he goes over and stings. He's like, then he's okay. games. <laughs> he's like dying and Taze is crying. He's like, I forgot. Oh, Meanwhile, the other terrible. kid is there holding his finger like, ow. He's <laughs> like, that hurt. He like, goes runs underwater. Kid, he like, cries. He's got stung by a bumblebee. He's like, man, don't cry. Yes. So, we see a second gas going up for Maka. And both these guys yeah. getting their factory. Looks very, very similar builds. We'll see. Uh, it's pretty clear at this point in time that... Uh, Mac is going to go for Mac Banshee. Starport a little bit quicker than Pulse. That's fine, though. I don't have a problem with it. Do you, Tasteless? No, I'm all right. No beef. And uh, I think this is going to be the game where we see both these guys proceed with a lot of caution. Yeah. Pult probably very frustrated that Mac had to do that well, kind of rush. Again, Pult's been knocking out Titans for a little bit, man. Yeah, he has been. He's, he's a legend killer. Yeah, and... Uh, you know, he's, he's going to have to be so careful because of that. Uh, he, I think in this term, he probably feels like, hey, you know what? I can top four this. But losing that first game is going to stress him out. He's going to have to play so carefully. All right. Taren versus Taren. Really a match of a lot about positioning, about map control. It's about patience oftentimes, not about impulsiveness. Well, generally speaking, impulsive moves are bad in StarCraft. Yeah. Don't pay off, but we have seen him pay off before. Well, looks like we do have Cloak for both players being researched. Oh, down goes the Hellion. That Hella, Hellion Hello went down. Yeah. <laughs> that was like the, the least enthusiastic joke. I'm I sorry. know, it was just terrible. I was like, yeah, something with Hella and Hellion, two Hells. All right. Viking coming out now. By the way, special thanks to our sponsors at LG Intel and G-Skill. And thank you to our viewers. Ooh. Ooh. Did see that. Did Ruh -ruh. not see that. Both important things going on. So we're going to have to see. Maka is already making a missile turret in a Viking. So this guy is going to be prepared, Tasteless. Bolt, nice defense here. Uh, Bolt starts a missile turret as well. Look at how well these guys know each other here. Nice, but well, actually, that's not nice. He won't get that in time. No, he will not. Marines try to go save it. They won't be able to because of the range restriction. 
And the wait a minute, am I wrong? It's no. Okay, yeah, he, he won't get that. Yeah, it was close. You know what? If he had, no, he barely wouldn't have gotten it still if he had microed it perfectly. No. no. And down goes the Banshee, and down goes the Tech Lab. Looks like uh, Polt is winning the battle of the Banshees. And, uh, you know, he's just continuing to drive down these Marines. There's actually basically no Marines left. So yeah, this he's is actually... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, is he going to scan? Yeah, yeah. It would scan. be worth it. Kills that last Marine, though. And as he leaves, Maka throws down a command. No command yet for Polt. In fact, it looks like he's going to do another pressure build here. Uh-oh. He might force the command center to cancel. That's actually huge. That really slows yeah, stuff down. That truly would, Tasteless. Yeah, it's oh going to be canceled. Oh, my God, yeah, yeah. He has to cancel it. Peace out. Oh. Oh, oh. my God. What do you... Click it again, man. And oh, he does okay, force so he does get it. Yeah, actually, if he had just right-clicked on again, I think he would have killed it. <laughs> that would have been minus 400. Yeah, that would be really bad instead of minus 100. That's 300 more, Tasteless. You're right. Thank you for the Sesame Street math here. Uh, the Banshee Sesame Street doesn't do it in hundreds, man. No, man. It goes up to like 13. Excuse me. Sorry. Nice uh, job tracing the Banshee back there. It looks <laughs> like it's going to be Polt, who's going to be the first one to sort of make uh, the move onto the map with uh, ground units here and try to get some kind of dominance. And he just... Oh, my God. Can he get this add-on? This game nope. tastes as Polt is the tech lab killer. Oh. And well, he at least got down. some SCVs. Hmm. As well, and uh -oh. here he goes. This could be a lot of damage, Tasteless. Maka's siege about to finish out, does siege up. He's going to want to pull back. Losing some range. Nice job getting both those oh, yeah. depots and backing out. Oh my god, he's actually out of range. Crazy. But now we have the high ground advantage for Maka. You will be able to easily push out of here. Does siege up there. And uh, Colt having a pretty big lead this game, Tasteless. So 67 supply to 39. Poor Maka only down at 39 supply. Things are just not going his way this game. Uh, not that far behind on SCVs like we saw last game in the opposite. We have Maka at 23 SCVs against 35 from Polt. We do have uh, Polt withdrawing, getting his expansion going. Polt's looking great. You can really see if this guy goes untouched. Yeah. Uh, he's actually uh, he's, he's, he's good. I think in a way... It's one of the reasons why Maka did that build he did in game one. Yeah. Is he's like, all right, let me try to take a game off of him here. Now, Maka playing a pretty interesting style here. As we see on the production tab, he is making a another factory. So, yeah, it looks like a nice shot there. And remember, the Raven just slightly slower than the uh, Banshee. He's uh, got to get away. Uh-oh. Where'd he go? Nope, there's a the blip. He's, oh, this is great. Look at that. Doing a great job of tra tracing him down there. So, he's going to corner him. He's going to nab him. Looks oh, like maybe not. Please. Remember, that thing doesn't have a lot of energy. Raven. Nice little uh, patrolling pack. Have yeah. a raven and a viking together. Then you win against vikings. You win against banshees. Uh-oh, he's got to be careful. Oh, no. This is a game where a lot of Banshees have been killed. And more Marines pumping out. A lot of Siege tanks for Maka. Looks like uh, more barracks units coming out for Polt. He does love his uh, high Marine counts and, of course, Marauders sometimes. The yeah, supply is still greatly uh, favoring him. He's up about 30 supply, which is pretty amazing. Siege tanks in siege mode. Maka really not making much of a presence on the map here, uh, which is fine. I mean, he's behind. He can't really do that, but mm. he's going to have to do something pretty soon here. He's very, very behind in this game. Well, we see a good Viking count. You know, one thing I love about TBT is that Vikings can be really good early, and early mid game, then like later mid game, normally you don't really see them all that much, but then late game they can return. It's kind of funny the the way that that works. So we do have a uh, running out here. Is Polt, and he's going for it. These Vikings have to run. It's Raven going as well. A nice little scan going down. 
All right, Bolt Prime is um, is on the map right now. Maka though has a nice siege tank line, and he's Kalen's closing in. And uh, this is not good for Maka. Maka's not going to be able to get a, a second base very easily. Artosis, what do you think? Oh, oh here we go. This is a huge brother. I'm losing a lot of Marines to the siege tanks. And Paul has to be careful, man. He's trying to brute force his way in against a huge amount of siege tanks of Maka. Maka did go two factor very easily, so has more siege tanks than I think Pult was ready for. But Pult has a nice contain up right now. Well, I don't expect uh, Pult to keep pushing in here, Artosis. No, I think he has to stall. But I think stall. he just wants to just stall. But you know what the, the beautiful thing is, uh, is that he has a lot of Vikings, so he can kind of dominate the ground a little bit by you know moving forward slowly but surely. Now there is enough for a point defense drone for Maka. Just be careful about that. And uh -oh. point defense drone does go out. How but there might be so many here? Vikings, he can actually. Oh, uh, it doesn't yeah. actually matter. He yeah, it's through it. Look at that. Pull it with his lot of Vikings and really beautiful Viking timing push here. Oh my God, that Banshee is well tasteless. You know, a, a one Banshee accompanied by a, a fleet of Vikings is just so scary. Yeah, it truly is. You really have to make a lot of Vikings as Maka. And Maka, in oh. trouble. If these sea tanks get in range of that command center or of that gas or anything over here, really. Things are going to be scary. Maka may have to pull some SCVs pretty quick. Oh, this is getting bad. He's basically in range of the orbital here. Maybe not after this one tank gets cleaned up. You ever get dizzy looking at the scans, Artosis? I feel like time is sped up. No, actually, time would be going backwards in this case. <laughs> Why does time go backwards when a clock turns around? I don't know. I once saw a terrible movie or a cartoon where that happened. Oh my God! Yeah, is it? Uh, the SCV's coming out, but too it's much damage being dealt. It's not enough. Look at Pult. Yeah, Pult even cleaning up all the Vikings that Pult were just created. Pult is such a boss nerd. Sick man, just totally rolling over Mac in this game. But to be you can honest, just land. he yep. even rolled all over him the game before. So uh, Pult landing Vikings to take out Sea Chinks. GG, well played. And well played. I'm like wow. an echo in a cave right now for whatever Artosis says. That's okay. Colt taking like a nerd down, disarming him. That's right. We. <laughs> That's where I make paintings on the wall. Is that where you do it? Your Artosis paintings? Right. It's a primitive ancient Artosis painting of a DT killing a turret. <laughs> it's just a turret on fire. I'm like, yeah, man. You can see it. Turret fire bad. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to go on to the final and deciding game between these two badass killers, Maka and Bolt. I feel like I have dual sight. Two very they similar do. looking Terrans from the same team. Yeah. One to one. What, 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 that's our map. map. Oh! What does it mean? Where's my Ouija board? Head to head here at the GSL. Terran versus Terran. Prime versus Prime. What Takes time? First is time. Oh. I just poked him really hard when I did that. Baseless. Dual side. Prime time. Smack of prime time. Once again, the battle of the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna win? It makes no sense. That's why it's funny. Dual side. Whose glasses are better? They're very similar. They are. Who we has may the have worst slightly vision? squarer ones on pole. Maka with the slightly more round ones. I don't know if I can pull off the glasses. Look, I think if I had to have glasses, I'd do the same thing my brother does and get some thick ring nerd nerd ones. Yeah. But put some tape in the middle. You so serious cool. nerd. All right. I can't do glasses. The countdown started head I, to head. I see everything the battle of bad eyesight here at the GSL. <laughs> 